Hi, it's Kathy, and welcome to another episode of Fast and Fabulous on Friday. Over the next four weeks, I'm going to show you some uh, cards that I made with this uh Picture Perfect Birthday Suite. Um, I use the the stamp set and the papers, which I think are so cool. This um, photographic um, images on the one side, and then on the back side are patterns that coordinate. I just love those. And then um, I added the three eighths inch metallics edged berry burst uh, ribbon to this. Um, class that I did and so all the cards will be using that and then I also incorporated the tutti frutti uh, sequins because they're in the same uh, grouping of colors so those are the things that I'll be using in these projects over the next four weeks uh, the colors of cardstock that I'll be using will be the peekaboo peach Lemon Lime Twist, Bermuda Bay, and Berry Burst. And then finally, the Memento Ink. Now at class, one of the people had asked me, why are you using Memento Ink in this um, instance as opposed to the Archival Black? And I told her honestly that the reason I am is because Picture Perfect Birthday is a photopolymer set. If you use the archival, it will definitely stain your photopolymers a lot more. The um, Memento will clean up. These were all used recently, and this one is still a little bit darker, but it will not stain as much as the archival will. Um, so that was the reason why I said I'm using Memento this time. It just cleans up a little better on the photopolymer. Um, as far as these here, they were in used with the berry burst and the red dye bases and of your uh, reds and pinks are going to stain your photopolymer. There's really not much you can do about that. Um, so the first thing I want to do, um, when you get this set, this bow here um, is a little bit of a challenge to line up. So I'm going to make a recommendation to you. And I'm going to bring a piece of grid paper out here. And I'm going to put those two pieces down here. Get a block. for the, um, the insides like this. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab any one of the inks. I'll go ahead and do Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to ink it up and stamp it just on my grid paper, just like that, okay? Now I'm going to take my um, one that's the bow and see this little hook here inside that one? You can find that in your stamp um, right here. And so I'm gonna place that just like that and it helps me to then line up um, the rest of them. And actually that wasn't it. So <laughs> um, get, your, get it all lined up like this. And then what I did is I took a fine tip sharpie and I came up here and I marked a line just like that then I took my other one and laid it right on top um, of the other and I'm gonna clean that so that I can see better and I'm gonna line that right back up over where I had stamped as well just like that and again, I'm going to put a black Sharpie. And yes, you are going to have to line it up a little bit, but that helps so much when you're actually going to do it. Now set those to the side and let them dry for a few minutes. Otherwise you will get black Sharpie on your blocks because it does take a little bit to dry. So while we're doing that, I'll show you the, today's card and give you uh, some dimensions on the various pieces. So this is the first card we're going to um, make. And 
this is the inside. Now we had a lot of fun trying to figure out what you call these. We called them party favors. We called them party blowers. We're really not sure what to call those. So um, if you have an actual name for those, comment on this video because I would really love to know what the actual name of that is. Okay, so let's get started. You will have a five and a half by eight and a half piece of Bermuda Bay folded in half for your card stock. You're going to have a piece of Whisper White that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches for the inside of the card. And then this piece here measures three and seven eighths inches by five and an eighth inch. I wanted it a little bit smaller, but not, um, not all the way down to three and three quarters by five. Next, you'll have a piece of the Party Favors uh, paper that measures three and three quarters inches by five. Now, don't laugh at me, but when I cut this paper, I actually looked at where I had most of my Party Favors, and my leftover I took from where there wasn't as much Party Favors, because then I could use it with the other side um, as an accent. Um, but I'd get most of my design um, on the uh, piece that I wanted on the front of my card. Then you'll need a piece of lemon lime twist that measures one and a quarter inches by five. And this piece of the designer series paper uh, that measures one inch by five inches and it's the back side of the balloons. You'll need a scrap strip of Whisper White for the sentiment and a piece of Whisper White that will allow you to stamp two of the little um, gift bows. So there should be enough room on this and this is about four inches by two inches. And then you'll need a piece of this same paper which is the back of the balloons that measures four inches by one inch. You'll need two of these circles uh, that are made out of the lemon lime twist paper. And let's measure that because I forgot to measure. It's a one and a half inch punch. And then um, this is the uh, center section of um, one of the other projects that you'll be cutting out um, and it is the um, is a one and seven eighths inch circle die and then two pieces of the ribbon that measure about six inches between five and six inches okay So first of all, we can attach this little piece to this. I think giving you the dimensions on all these will take longer than assembling this card. Okay, and then this will go right on top of this. So now I need to decide, do I want this this way or this way? And I think I like it like that. And this is going to go right here. And then I'll go across here like this. And one of my ribbons will go across there. This here and that smaller of the two whisper whites is what you're going to attach this to and so there will just be a very small matting around that and then that will go down on top of your card like that 
On the inside of the card, we're going to find this. Today we celebrate wonderful, brilliant, fabulous you. So we'll pull that off of our sheet. And that will be stamped in Bermuda Bay. And this little strip, the four inch by one inch, will go down at the bottom. Here. And the ribbon across here. Again. this around and this will go on the inside of the card okay. so then we'll find the little happy birthday and put it on a block and that will go in memento ink and on our Whisper White Strip. And then using the classic label punch, we're gonna put this in and we want it as far as we can over um, on the right hand side to the point. Just like that. And now we need to stamp are bows. So we'll get a couple of blocks out. Now these should be dry enough. So I'm going to put the little lines up on either of these. Oh, and one more color I forgot to pull down was pool party. So I always like to stamp the darker of the two colors first. So I'm going to stamp these um, shadow areas of the bow and I'm going to get a little cushion below here and I'll put that straight up and down like that over here and one over here come back with a pool party and now I'm at least knowing since I'm up about where I need to line things up. And it's so much easier to find that by doing that. And again, I'll find that by being straight up and down. And there we go. Then I'll get the uh, new one and three eighths inch scallop circle punch. That's in the 2018 uh, occasions catalog and punch those out like that and then I'll attach those So I'll attach those to the lemon lime twist one and a half inch circles and then using some dimensionals I'll attach one of them to the blue glimmer paper. And I'm going to give a good pressing on that since it is against the glimmer paper and a few dimensionals on that. So I'll come over here and get placed on the front of my card like that. And then the little happy birthday. I'm going to put a couple of the smaller dimensionals down on that. And 
and slide this up underneath here. Now, if it jams up against um, your dimensionals, then just go ahead and take your snips and trim some of that off. And then you can sneak it up underneath there, just like that. And then on the inside of the card, you're going to go ahead and secure this one down. Just like that. And there is the first of four projects that you'll see this month on the Picture Perfect Birthday stamp set and coordinating designer series paper. See you next week on another Fast and Fabulous on Friday.